did you arrive? I was completely lost in thought. Aw, your concern for my well-being. Well, aren't you just the sweetest? You really know how to make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Don't you worry. I love it here. Not at all. I think what makes this place so special is the fact that it was built personally by you. If I were to start nitpicking, it would only ruin your creativity and the unique charm you bring to the place. I certainly wouldn't want that to happen. When would I ever not? If it weren't for my library work and potion-making duties, I'd love nothing more than to spend every day chatting with you like this. The number of people borrowing books is around the same as always, but lately, more people seem to be returning them on time than ever before. It seems that the citizens of the City of Freedom have become more conscious of time. Frankly, I'm quite relieved. Of course, I can't expect everyone to be as sensible as you, cutie. <laughs> you look so adorable with a little more red in your cheeks. Special potions? Hmm. Oh, as a matter of fact, I concocted one that makes textiles softer to the touch. And another that keeps the air fragrant and fresh. I'm quite fond of that one. They weren't requested by the Knights of Favonius, though. I just made them out of personal interest. Hmm, is it just me? Or have my interests become more domestic in nature since I met you? <laughs> you look so adorable with a little more red in your cheeks. I'd quite like to invite you to afternoon tea. I can offer you Sunsetia or Rosebud tea. And as for snacks, what kind of cake do you like? <laughs> you guessed correctly. There is nothing I can't create if I put my mind to it. It's just that... Most of the time, I don't find these sort of things to be worth all the extra effort. But you are special to me. I don't think about energy spent if it's for you. Hmm... Perhaps instead of asking for your preferences, I should let it be a surprise instead. Oh my! Remind me not to add too much sugar, because you, cutie, are sweet enough already. Seriously, though, I need to start getting prepared. We can't have you underestimating me. Oh, you're so easygoing. It's so relaxing spending time with you. But for once, I do want to take the trouble to make something nice. There is nothing I can't create if I put my mind to it. It's just that... Most of the time, I don't find these sort of things to be worth all the extra effort. Morning, cutie. I'm sure you're keeping on top of everything that needs doing. But if you find yourself struggling at any point, you know I'm always available to lend a hand. Have a good night, cutie. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm a little envious of the way you manage to stay so energetic, even at this hour. Be sure to get enough sleep. Hello. Is there some matter of importance you wish to discuss with me? This is a comfortable environment. A good place to be calm and gather one's thoughts. Much like the days in the Jade Chamber. Oh, you misunderstand. An environment can't be judged purely on its size or opulence. I sense the time and effort that you have put into this place, which reminds me of the time and effort I myself spent when constructing the Jade Chamber. Or to put it another way, I see this as the Jade Chamber that belongs to you. Please, kindness has nothing to do with it. An environment can't be judged purely on its size or opulence. A chat? Is there some commercial matter you wish to inquire about? Hmm, 
interesting. So many merchants and business magnates vying to invite me to dinner. And you wish to have a simple chat? <laughs> ah, you make me laugh. These people, they send me the most extravagant gifts. But all they're really after are my words. Any morsel of information that may hint at Liyue's future commercial trends. Which makes the prospect of a carefree, honest chat here with you all the more valuable to me. For it is something that Mora cannot buy. So, stay with me a while, and let's chat about the simpler things in life. Anything at all. You really are quite different from the rest. These people, they send me the most extravagant gifts. As a matter of fact, there is something I've been planning for a while now. The next time we have an important policy decision on our hands, I'd like you to get involved. Not exactly. I was thinking that you would be involved in the decision itself. Rest assured, I am not prone to misjudgment. The fount of knowledge and boldness of spirit that your travels have bequeathed upon you are sure to imbue your policies with rare and valuable foresight. I have no doubt. Oh, that reminds me. After the decision is made, if you could please shred any documentation that accumulates on the wall during the process. Liyue is due another paper snowstorm. This time, you'll be the one to change the prevailing weather. I like your boldness of spirit. The world of commerce is a battleground, and policymaking requires conviction and decisiveness. All that you have experienced during your travels is sure to imbue your policies with rare and valuable foresight. I have no doubt. Good morning. If you encounter any difficulties on your travels, feel free to tell me all about them. Good night to you, too. Try to relax and enjoy yourself while you're here. Get some rest.